Hi, Hopefuls. Thanks so much for coming back. So I had to do a voiceover for this because Target had their music on blast. If you hear my kids in the background, they're playing video games. <laughs> so um, Mama and I were shopping in Target and I thought I'd take you guys along. Um, here I'm just talking about some shoes I saw where someone posted on Instagram. I will see if I can find their um Instagram so you can follow them they post great things those shoes are very comfortable and here I'm just talking about how Josiah's growing up and he's in the big boy getting in the big boy section and the cat and jack stuff just looks like it's going up higher and higher it's like seven dollars so I was hoping that it's on sale this week I have to make sure this was on the 26th this past I think Saturday or 27th but yeah I didn't get anything I want to assess what he has and yeah i had to cut this short because the music was on blast y'all but um i'm gonna do a voiceover for the rest of the video let me show you guys what mama got okay guys so mama got these shoes she liked these they were 24.99 and also these leggings. These were the only pair that we saw. They were $12.99. They do have them online. I have to order me at least two pair. Um, that was the only one in the store. So maybe someone returned it. She liked the shirt. It does look like her, <laughs> her colors. She loves brown. And she also got um, the tear stand from the Boys Eye Playground. It was $5 and also this shirt. Um, I think these shirts were nine and then these shirts that were folded were five. All right, y'all, so we're over here in the hearth and hand section and target. We were looking at the Joanna Gaines Magnolia table um, cookbooks. Surprisingly, we don't have her volume one or two or even her homebody book, but I did get it off Amazon the other day. So now I have all three <laughs> for some inspiration. And so right now I think I'm talking about how uh, we were just looking around at some things because I want to redo our bathroom. But right now I'm working on our master bedroom painting and so forth. And I don't really want to get too much decor until I'm finished because I kind of already have a lot of decor that I can just bring upstairs. So that's mainly what I'm talking about right here. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to look at the desk. And I was really looking at the desk for Jason so he can have a workspace in the room. He does have like a hutch that I redid a while ago. But I'm going to get rid of that and just get him a straight desk. Um, I end up ordering him one off of sams.com. So I did find one off of there for him. But they had some really nice ones. I like this one down here at the bottom. This one was neat, but it takes up a lot of leg room. So her old cookbook is sixteen dollars, and then this one's thirty percent off. This is her volume two, and this one's seventeen. Hey okay, y'all! So Mama and I um, looked at the reviews, and there were five stars for all of her books, I believe, and but I think it was cheaper for volume one or two on Amazon because the book rang up $19. I want to say volume one did for some reason. But anyway, um, I was also talking about here where mama, she watches a lot of YouTube. And so she loved the black spine of the Magnolia book um, because it was prettier. But I think she ended up with volume two and I got both. And... I was just talking about how I didn't like to get the one in the front. I always like to get the stuff one in the back. But yeah. And also they had great recipes, pictures on on Amazon. So that's what I was also talking about as well. Um, those people, they, they cook their food pretty good with those pictures that they had on the reviews. having a hard time figuring out what type of bathroom accessories I want because I never I haven't seen any anywhere that stood out to me but I do like some of these 
So I was just mentioning here that I've been to Big Lots, to Walmart, to different stores and at home and I just haven't found any that stuck out to me. So that's what I was talking about here. But I like these. Jason's stuff. I know he's gonna have something on his dresser. Not necessarily for the bathroom, but for his um, for his stuff that he currently has on his dresser. Okay guys, so we were looking at more kitchen items and here mama was teasing me about the salt and pepper shakers because I love salt and pepper shaker. But she watches again a lot of YouTube so she was saying that would be cute to put in the corner. Um, she doesn't drink either so she was saying maybe cooking wines or something but I was telling her that you can also put towels in there and roll them up. And she was like, oh yeah. So that's what we were doing and then I was also mentioning how I still forget to pick up the camera when we're having conversations so I had to repeat that conversation for the camera. But these were really cute. Okay guys, so I'm back from Target with Mama. I should have went to... Hey y'all, I'm back from Target with Mama. I thought I'd go ahead and end upload the go ahead and turn the camera around i look okay <laughs> today um i did the big chop y'all so if you follow my email or if you what else did i talk about on my instagram or facebook i talked about my big chop i'm liking it um i think i will put a darker rinse in my hair my hair is not jet black um or dark um dark brown it's like a light brown so anyway it's quiet just how it's gone with um with jason i think jj's upstairs playing the video game he got his game back he got his game taken away y'all um but anyway let me show you what i picked up from target um some of the stuff did not ring up the right price like i thought it would be so i may take it back i'll have to see and um yeah i do have some planner stuff so i need to go ahead and show my stuff on i've been going kind of little ham on the planner stuff y'all last year it seemed like it was the uh, couponing and now it's the planner and I, have, I need to scale back scale back so let me show you what i got oh yeah i did the big chop if you watch all the time remember i was talking about my hair was breaking off so it was breaking off real bad and i was just saving like in the crown and i was just saving the rest of it but i like it i like i watched a lot of youtube videos i need to wash it though and um, I was going to get some things for my hair at Target that are only at Target that I've seen or on Amazon. But um, I know it's going to be a good $60, y'all. So, I said I'll wait. Um, plus, it was some other things I wanted to go back. I wanted to see if their uh, Cat and Jack sets for Josiah, if they are going to put those on sale next week. And then the... Uh, cookbook by Joanna Gaines Magnolia Table. I think this is her. Yeah, this is her first one. I have to look at my receipt, but one of these rung up as $20, y'all. And I did scan it. Um, I think Mama said this was the one that was 16 because this one came out first. And they had some really good recipes in here, like making, um, I think it was the other one, making like crust from scratch and what kind of cut rest y'all apple <laughs> like pie crust gosh um different stuff like that so you know have to use these preps up y'all use these preps up um and then i like all the little explaining all the different types of 
kitchen utensils and how you would use them and stuff like that. I like that. So I finally got that book. I think I need to get her home body book. I think I'm going to go ahead and get that because I'm trying to change up some things in the house. So here, Magnolia Table, um, this is the volume two. I didn't even realize she had another one um, out. This was 30% off. I think this one did ring up the right right price, $17.15. This one should have been $16, but it rung up $20.99. Also, I got some shirts. I don't get a lot of clothes for myself. And there were some pretty shirts that kind of remind you of the shirts that the Pioneer Woman wears a lot. The blouse, like one with the sleeves, but um, if we were going outside a whole lot, <laughs> or if I would got at least one or two, I should have just got one anyway. So, you know, if you go somewhere, you will already have it. So I'm trying to drop weight, y'all. Trying to drop some weight and um, what was I going to say? So I don't want to get too many clothes because I have a goal. So I got the two X and two of these shirts, I have to look at the... Uh, UPC, the 2X is like a 1820. So I had to look at the UPC because two of them, they were supposed to be $5 each, but two of them rung up $9, y'all. And I was like, uh-uh, the only reason why I got them was because they were $9. I'm missing the shirt, y'all. Please tell me it's in here. It is. So I got the purple one. They were peeked over. They have a lot. So that neck is a little different. It's like a U-neck. So I'm wondering, is that the $9 one? Mama got black and her material was sort of like this purple one. They're almost the same, but they're a little different. Sorry, y'all, I'm doing this with one hand. They look the same. So I wonder, are these the $9 ones? They're the same. You know what, this might be the $9 one. And if this is the $9 one, then I'm keeping it because I like these. It's a little bit thinner. Good gracious, I can't get it, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. And I love V-neck shirts. So I'm coming out with a t-shirt, a little t-shirt line that's coming out soon called um, birthandangel.com. So if you guys have, I think I'm going to launch it on April the 15th. I'll let you guys know. You'll see on social media. And if you guys are new or if you're not, I had several miscarriages and I had, we had a stillborn baby. So um, that's near and dear to my heart. And one day I just thought about it. I was like, hey, how about I make a t-shirt line? I'm making some other things too, like journals and some things like that. So I love a V-neck shirt. That's my whole point of saying that. So I'm gonna eventually bring a V-neck shirt to the line. So they had this shirt. This shirt was $16. This was the only lavender shirt. It's the first one I picked up. And then lastly, oh, these shoes. So someone on Instagram I follow, I'll see if I can find her Instagram. And I thought these were cute. She said that they had them last year and they were comfortable. They look comfortable. They'd be super cute with a um, pedicure. So I got those. Those were $24.99. So if they put them on sale tomorrow, today's Saturday, I'm going to go get my difference. Because there were some home things I was looking for, looking at, that I saved in my phone. And then I was looking at a dresser for Sasa. He still has the dresser when he was a baby. When You know how you get those sets? I don't know if they still have those anymore. But you know how you get the dresser? the three or four in one bed and something else to change the table all for one price that's what i got for a sign okay y'all so um there y'all that's just a mess and i don't know if i show you guys what i got from amazon i don't think you really care i got um a package from live love posh if you're planning girl she has like floral sticker books so this is one of them I wasn't able to get both of them at the same time, so the other two sticker books are coming um, separately. And then this is my big order from Fabulously Planned. She had a anniversary sale. I have been waiting for this. She was swamped with orders. And, oh, y'all, I think this is my journal. Let me show you. So I have several hauls that I need to, well, two, 
that I need to probably put on the other channel to show you guys. Cause I know some of you all started following me because of that. Don't have anything else in there. Oh, I got this for the boy. On um, these little Reese pieces. And then y'all, here is my journal. My baby is in heaven. So this is one of the journals I will have on um, birthandangel.com when they, we launch. And this is what it looks like on the, I haven't even opened it, on the inside. So writing was something that really, really helped me a whole lot. Um, writing and sharing the social media. But really looking back at it, I should have wrote in my journal instead of um, writing and communicating on social media. Because I think it, it helped getting my feelings out. But I should have put it in a journal. You can do whatever you want to do. Whatever that helps you heal. But um, Jason did, my husband did start a blog for me. But I cannot find it. And I wish I could find it because I know my feelings were so raw. And I cannot find it. I only had a couple of entries. But anyway, y'all. So this one is coming. I have another one that I posted on social media. I can't think of what it is. Oh, it says Birth an Angel. So these are my two favorite designs. This will be on a t-shirt. And I think I'm going to do this in blue um, as well. I automatically did pink because the baby, one of the babies that we lost um, was Jasmine. She was a girl. So, y'all, anyway, I do have um, some stuff here for JJ's birthday. I'll go ahead and open it. Hey, y'all, I thought I'd go ahead and open it because if you guys have gamers in your house like I do, <laughs> um, then maybe you may look for these items for your son or husband's birthday um, or daughter's birthday. So I got these cupcake toppers and I was going to get to JJ since this is 16th birthday, a really nice cake like my cake uh, or the same girl that makes the same cake. But she came down with COVID. Tiffany came down with COVID. So I didn't really want to bother her. Um, she said she'll be clear on the 23rd, which is just, well, that was four days ago. Um, but I just said, I'll go ahead and get the cupcakes. He did ask for the cookies and cream cupcakes from Harris Teeter. And so I just ordered those and I'll just put those on top. Um, that's what I'll do. Then they had this set here, which, oh, you guys can't see it. Did I open? Oh, uh, well, I'll show you the picture. Okay, so this one here, the video game series, it comes with cups, silverware, um, some napkins, a tablecloth, balloons, a banner, 169 pieces. I think this was like $29, not much, or 33 or something like that, plates. So I thought that would be neat. And then I also got him a banner. I'll see if I can find it, screenshot and put it across the screen. And then some balloons. Um, they're shaped like video games, just like these. Um, they're over somewhere over there. And then lastly, you guys probably don't care about this. So I got a refurbished desktop computer. Um, I just got a what's this thing called? A MacBook. I've been wanting a MacBook, y'all, since I started YouTube. I've been wanting one for years, probably before then. So, I finally broke down and got one. I needed it because I, y'all, if y'all just know the struggle, the struggle was real over the years with different equipment, um, just trying to edit and make videos. Anyway, so, I deserve that Chrome, <laughs> that MacBook <laughs> from all the frustration. Um, I did get a gateway my dad got me for Christmas, um, and then Josiah... I had a soda beside it, decided to take a sip of the soda and messed up the keyboard. My dad went and got a keyboard fix. Didn't he have it a month, y'all? Got a key, try to get the keyboard fixed. They could not find a matching keyboard. So I was out. I didn't even have no insurance, insurance on it. But really the, the computer didn't have the specs that I really wanted and needed. But I love that. I can't wait till I finish this video to get on it and I need to learn how to edit on it. So anyway, I had to get this because as soon as I d decided to get that that night, my um, main computer messed up. Um, it's refurbished from Walmart. It works really quick, really fast. It's a Dell. It doesn't have all the best specs on it either. Um, compatibility, compatibility. Some things don't work great, like PicMonkey and my Adobe Photoshop. Some of that stuff does not work great on it, so I knew I had to upgrade and get something else. Long story short, y'all... Um, 
it started messing up on me and i did some youtube youtube tutorial now it won't connect to the internet it kept shut me off and on i was in the middle of editing because you don't need the internet to edit um i don't think but i never use the internet to edit and i couldn't even upload the video to show you guys what i um my aldi haul and walmart haul and it's stuck on my computer i can learn how to do it on there but it's a learning curve i have to learn so i had to get a new one of these adapters to to go into the computer because it's a refurbished computer so it doesn't have built-in wi-fi this helps you build this helps you uh this helps you <laughs> connect to the wi-fi y'all that's what i want to say because i messed it up i can't even so i'm just hoping that i'll have to get a new desktop and if i do it's gonna be a while because i probably will go ahead and get a mac desktop so anyway i hope this works i let you guys go i talked long enough i hope you guys are staying safe and if oh, y'all got my vaccine today i got my first vaccine and I can't believe I got a vaccine before Jason. I was not trying to before Jason or before Cottrell. They are essential workers. Um, but now I got my, my, what happened was my provider contacted me and they don't go to the same provider that I do. Trail was actually supposed to. No, no, he wasn't. Um, yeah, I'm a patient with them because of having Josiah there my girly doctor and stuff so i try to put jason on the list i put my mother-in-law on the list she can't make the time jason can't make the time because of work so i just um i did find another place but unc healthcare but i just went with mine with duke so anyway y'all now i'm on a hunt to get Catrell a vaccine they said you can y'all can you get one the lady that answered the phone said you can get one if you're 16 um, so I'm going to get, look for JJ to get one too. And when Jason can try to find him one that worked with his schedule and mama already, mama's getting ready to get her second. My dad already has his, but let me know y'all if y'all got your vaccine or not. I, I'd really, I'd honestly, y'all, I'm going to be honest. And I'll let y'all go. I was judgmental. Uh, of people who did get it and I was not sure for a long time but I guess when I saw my parents got it and they were fine my aunt got it she's a respiratory therapist she had to get it a long time ago then I just uh, I still prayed about it and I'm fine I'm fine so far right now but anyway y'all um let me know Are you guys on spring break too what are y'all doing for spring break so have a good one I think we're going to the planetarium if you want to know um, the planetarium, maybe a museum. We'll see. All right. Bye y'all.